Hey guys, today I'm going to be watching An American Werewolf in London from 1981. I think it's going to be super scary, so I'm nervous, of course. Got the red lighting, feeling spooky. I've got like a ghost lighting situation. I don't know why that's happening, but I kind of like it. Feeling very ghosty, so I'm basically stalling. Let's get to it. Here we go. An American Werewolf in London. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a werewolf movie like in my life, so I really don't even know. I only know like from Harry Potter, one of the dudes was a werewolf, so at the full moon, you turn, but no idea what this will be like. Without a An American werewolf in London. Okay, I'm like, I'm super nervous, sorry, I'm like holding my breath. I just feel like this is gonna be so scary in London, so I guess this is the London landscape, I, I'm guessing. I've never been. I wish I could go, maybe someday. All right, let's do it. Let's get some werewolves. Werewolves. I don't have a puppy jacket like that. I would have worn it. You guys know I like to cosplay. Keep off the moors. Stick to the roads. Stick to the roads. Keep off the moors. Okay. I'm gonna miss you. Bye, girls. You're not having a good time, are you? Isn't this a fun place? Northern England. I mean, it's Italy beautiful. Later. I mean, we've got three months. You think she'll meet me in Rome? Debbie Klein's a mediocre person. She's a jerk. You're She's a jerk. About the woman I love. About a girl you want to f it That is different. It me how much energy you spend on somebody so dull. Nothing dull about that body. You know, there are going to be plenty of girls on this trip. Say knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Who? You don't get that joke? Knock knock. Who's there? Who? Best no. friends. And then something gruesome is going to happen. I just know it. The slaughtered lamb. Slaughtered lamb. Whatever happens, it's, it's your fault. fault. Right. <laughs> well, this isn't gonna be good. Very cold outside. May we come in? What a strange place. Yikes, I would be leaving. I'm afraid they're going to be killed. Do you have any hot soup? No. Is it something not... hot you want? You can have tea. Then you have tea. No, but I can make some. Oh, oh yes, yes please. please. I'm just getting such a weird vibe. <laughs> What's going on? Pentagram? Maybe the owners are from Texas. Remember the Alamo. He was just joking. I remember the Alamo. That film with John Wayne. And everybody dies in it. <laughs> Bloody awful. <off. laughs> Did you hear the one about the rushing? Oh. Ask him what the candles are for. I don't think they're gonna let them get a word in. It's the Mark of the Wolf Man. Mark of the Wolf Man. You ask him. They have to lighten the place. This frog is Vive la France. He <laughs> leaps out. Then an Englishman. And he leaps out. Oh, they are enthralled. Young delegate, remember the Alamo. And jokes out the Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that star on the wall for? Read the room. Made me miss. I've Yikes. never missed that board before. We'd better go. I'm starved. There's no food here. In comes the thunder. You can't let them go. Why? With you. It's ominous. You just can't let them go? Stay on the road. Keep clear to the moors. I feel like they're gonna end up on the moors. Beware the moon, lads. Beware the moon. Also, I hate in movies when people just leave and don't pay for whatever they had. Pay for your tea and leave a tip. Where the hell are we going? I'm sorry, I'm sure we'll find something else. You can't let them go. See, she knows business. something. It's murder then. Then murder it is. It's in God's hands now. These kids are gonna get murdered. But they're the main characters. Full moon, oh my god. What do you think was wrong? Maybe that I'm so nervous. Something's gonna jump out at them. And they were too embarrassed to talk about it. Please uh -huh. don't rain. I'm so nervous. Oh my god. There's a werewolf out there. Perhaps they'll be safe in the rain. I wouldn't count on it. Oh, there's a werewolf howling. He's gonna come and eat them. We must go to them. I heard nothing. The murder it is. Not I. Did you hear uh, that? What was it? I don't have a good feeling about this. It's a full moon. Beware, Beware the moon and stick to the road. Oops. I vote we go back to the slaughtered lamb. Something's gonna jump out right now. I'm really scared. They're never gonna make it back to the slaughtered lamb. What is that? It's I think we should a just werewolf. keep moving. Uh, this is so tense. I there's something's gonna jump out. Oh my god! Uh, it's gonna be it's behind them. Us. Yeah. Oh Let's no. just keep walking. Lovely oh. stroll on the moors. Isn't this fun? Oh my god! They're being hunted by a werewolf. What is a werewolf though? It's like a human that turns into a wolf or something, right? You think it's a dog? Nice doggy. There's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is so tense. You away. Can you see anything? No. Okay, oh, oh, you really scared me. Something's gonna jump out now. <laughs> he just ran away. Oh. Jack. Oh. He's so bloody. Jack. 
Oh, the guys came and saved them. He looks okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. But it's too late, fellas. I can't believe they sent them out knowing that would happen. Oh, well, it's murder then. Jack. Oh, she's Mr. very beautiful. She kind of looks like eyes. Maggie Gyllenhaal. Doctor, she's going to fetch her on one of their members. I think he's a Jew. I've had a look. Oh. That was it very proper. The nurse price is quite right. Quite right, quite right. Surely you perform some function here. Uh, yes, Doctor. He said Jack. The boy who was killed. They were attacked by an escaped lunatic. Uh, I don't think it was a lunatic. It looked like a beast. Uh, he's like, what, in a coma? That's creepy. Hello, David. What? This is a countryman of yours. You're in a hospital in London. You were attacked by a beast in the woods. In the moors, I should say. Your friend is dead. Yeah. Oh. I mean, he's lucky all he got was that little scratch on his face. Jack's dead? Hi, the American Embassy hey. here. Both Mr. Goodman's parents and your parents have been notified. Everything's in order. I mean, he Who seems a little happy. Where's Jack? Get, get your hands off. I want to see Jack. Not at least Mr. Kessler. This is no reason for hysterics. Well, he was attacked by a beast and his friend died. I shall come back and check on your progress. I Police don't like this guy. Police have requested to interview you, giving them permission to do so. These dumbass kids, they never appreciate anything. What is this guy's problem? You've been unconscious since you were brought in three weeks ago. Cuts and bruises, nothing serious. Cuts and Perhaps bruises? Perhaps some dueling scars to boast of. That lunatic must have been a very fierce fellow. Uh, lunatic? It wasn't a lunatic. It's an animal. A wolf. Did he oh, say man. a wolf? Yes. She's very lovely. Some tea. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'd like some. Uh, maybe not. No, thank you, Doctor. What can I do for Scotland Yard? We Scotland Yard. Kessler, boy. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Has Mr. Kessler said anything regarding the attack? Excuse me. Uh, yeah. He said it was not a lunatic. Roger Matheson. Tell him I've passed away. Uh, <laughs> an old no more calls. Uh. <laughs> Quietly. Good lord. Sorry if I conflict with your report. Two strong mm -hmm. boys would be able to defend themselves. Are you suggesting that- Hey, I have that painting. That exact painting. We have an autopsy report on the murderer. We have two witnesses. It's coming from someone who's gone through a terrible shock. Seems all right to me and- Damn what? I don't rightly know. Precisely my point. The matter is now closed. Uh, thanks, Scotland Yard. Great job. There were witnesses? In time, I'm sure it'll all come back. It's my sanity I'm beginning to worry about. <laughs> yeah. This is so creepy. <gasps> That's him. Ew. What was that? That was really weird. Hello, Benjamin. No. What a cutie. He's so small. Feeling better? No. What a lot of <laughs> lovely comics. Do you like them? No. Just the patient in 21. I am an orderly, not a bleeding psychiatrist. No one is very helpful in this hospital. You haven't eaten your lunch. I'm not hungry. You want to take these after you've eaten? What sort of nurse would I be if I failed? I'll take them later. Oh, come yeah, on, get some light Price. in there. Call me Alex. Should I be forced to feed you, Mr. Kessler? Uh, you can call me David. David. Is she going to feed him? Yeah. Let's try a little harder. Would you give me a break? Would you give ah. her a break? Will I have to take such drastic action again? Oh, he likes it. Yes, you will. Man, she looks like Maggie Gyllenhaal. Is he still in the coma? I don't know what's going on. No. Dreams. Okay, they're dreams. Holy, that was gross. It wasn't a man. A, a big wolf or something. Let's have a look, shall we? Jack was torn apart. A man yeah. can't do that. Look at the claw marks. No. And in fact, your wounds had been cleaned and dressed before you arrived here. Then why the hell are you so quick to disbelieve? The police are satisfied. There were a monster. We'd have seen it on the telly. I don't know. Remain sane. At least until you're no longer our responsibility. He just doesn't care. He's like, just shut up so you can get out. You're a very beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. I thought you were asleep. I was. Shall I read to you? A Connecticut Yankee at King Arthur's Court. We fell together as modest people will, and he at once began to say things. Well, this movie's awesome because it contains the Muppets. I was going to bite you. Is he back home? Oh, I don't know. Already. Don't cut the throat. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Don't cut his throat. I don't want to see. Oh. I really hate slashing throats. I've just had a nightmare. Oh Holy. my god. That was kind of genius though, because I thought it was over. I have to respect for the horror move there. Is he going to see something? Can I have a piece of toast? Uh, Get out of here, Jack. Uh, I can't take this. Is he dreaming? 
Ew, ew, ew. Am I asleep now? Awake or ew. what? You're hurting my feelings. It oh might be God. unsettling to see you. Well, the makeup in this is so... I mean, it's good. It's so gross. I had to come. Ew. Aren't you supposed to be buried? Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised at how many people ew. came. Debbie Klein cried a lot. She runs to find solace in Mark Levine's bed. Mark? Life must this be is so weird. I'm going completely crazy. Damn yeah. it! I have to warn you. We were attacked by a werewolf. Life Look at his problem. neck. Now I walk the earth until the werewolf's curse is lifted. Wolf's bloodline must be severed. Remaining Ugh. werewolf must be destroyed. Who's that? You'll kill people. Nerds! It's all his true. Neck. I'm lonely. Take your life, kill yourself before you kill others. I got a little flap of skin. Beware the moon, David. Beware the moon. David! Ugh. Oh. Just going for it. I'm a werewolf. A werewolf? <laughs> Are you all right now? I'll let you know the next full moon. You're going to be discharged? My friend Jack was just here. Your dead friend. I yes. will become a monster in two days. What do you think? Is he going to kill her? I was dreaming again. Yes, I would think so. It seems logical, but I think it was a real thing. I think it was a vision. Do you have somewhere to stay in London? All right, he's going home with her. Yes. I like her yeah. back. Holy, look at all the uh, neon hair. I feel like he might get his ass kicked. Well, it looks like a nice building. Nice building to get murdered in. The kitchen. Closet. Charming. <laughs> the bathroom. Lovely. The bedroom. There's only one bed. Yeah. I find you very attractive and a little bit sad. I've had seven lovers in my life. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but... She wants to do it. Perhaps you'd like to watch telly whilst I take a shower. Yeah, she's just gonna freshen up, and then it's on. Oh, even better. Hmm. Wasn't really expecting, like, a extended romance -y scene in this. Okay. Two days of lovemaking, followed by a gruesome death. Is something scary gonna happen? In that window? I don't be a putz. Is he, like, decaying because he's dead? Gross. What are you doing here? Hi, David! Put that down. <laughs> yeah, like, why are you here? Why is your face green? I'm sorry I'm upsetting you, David. You're one of the undead, and I'm a werewolf. Tomorrow night's the full moon. You'll become, yeah. I know, a monster. Does he believe you it? You kill yourself, David. That's so extreme. I think I've lost my mind. You're just yeah. another part of a bad dream. You've got to believe me. I'll sprout hair and fangs and eat people. You'll He's trying to help you, like David. Me. I will not accept this. I will not be threatened by a walking meatloaf. <sighs> Not be threatened by a walking made loaf. What's wrong? I heard voices. At least just, just me being crazy. Like literally. Back to bed now. Do I seem crazy to you? I just saw Jack again. He's seen things. He's hallucinating. He's a werewolf. You know, either way, not not a great prospect of a dude. What did he say? Tomorrow I'll turn into a monster. Do you believe me? I mm. believe that you're very upset. That you loved mm -hmm. him very much, and that somehow you blame yourself. Yeah. Did you ever see the Wolf Man? Bella Lugosi bites Lon, turns into a werewolf. Reigns is Lon Chaney's father, and he ends up killing him. A werewolf can only be killed by someone who loves him. So the girl has to kill him. I don't know what I'm talking about. Can you unbecome a werewolf once you are already one? Is there any way to get out of it? I'm torn between feeling very sorry and finding you attractive. What is wrong with her? Like, I get it, he's cute, but like, he's not doing well at the moment. I don't know, girl. I suppose the heart wants what it wants. The slaughtered lamb. Is everyone gonna stare at him? Drink for a very cold man. Nasty business with those two young American boys, wasn't it? I don't know what you mean. Oh, a thousand thanks, madam. A thousand thanks, madam. Oh, what's that? Been there for 200 years. Traditional, so we left it. Is she lying? She's been shady. You've heard nothing of this incident. The murder. The murder thunder. I work in the hospital where they brought the Kessler boy. He was talking about monsters. She knows so something. I, I guess they all do. Look into the boy's story. <laughs> really, sir? Like a game? I think not. He just... Don't feel like a game. Uh. I just want to check on the dogs. Dogs are fine. I'll just check. Is he really going to check on dogs? I don't know if they're all telling the Do truth or not. No, there's no food. Nothing for you. I'll be on my way then. Man. It's not really checking on the dogs. Hello. That boy's in danger. It was a mistake. Don't let him leave here. There's something wrong with this place. Mm -hmm. He's the one who's in danger. I'm not just him. Others who... It's almost full moon. You change. Are we gonna see him change into a werewolf? I hope it's not gross. 
wonder if he's starting to believe him now. Ooh, nice sweater. I have enough of those pills. Go for a werewolf. Oh. Oh. She's smitten with this werewolf. Dogs always know. <laughs> Thanks a lot, dog. Thanks a lot, dog. <laughs> Oh, is he locked out? <laughs> the animals. All right, is this it? Is he gonna change now? I don't think you should joke about that. Bad Moon Rising. <laughs> I get it. Why is he leaving all the doors open? Maybe you should go do something. All right, full moon, let's do it. Oh, this is it, I guess. Oh, he's a mess. Ew. Um. Oh, he's all hairy. Ew. Ew. This looks really painful. Is he still gonna be him? Yeah. Yeah. This transformation. Okay, well he's a fucking werewolf. Is he gonna kill these people? Which one, oh Harry? God. Oh god. You're crazy, Harry. <laughs> Run the stairs and give him a rifle right scare. No, you're gonna die. Hey, did you hear something? Ah, those hooligans. Are in the those are not hooligans. They'll be here any minute. There's something they going on. They're dead. Ugh. You know if Nurse Price has seen the Kessler boy. Sure has. I don't know. Yes, Doctor. Oh god, are they gonna find the bodies? Oh my god, is it gonna be all bloody? Now, do those people turn to werewolves? I have so many questions. Is anyone there? Yes. I'm concerned about David. I think he's a whip. Your number. Oh my god, this guy's just wandering around <laughs> with his drink. Is that you, Harry? Oh god, he's gonna get slaughtered. He's gonna get eaten. Oh god, gross. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Well, no one's there. He's out killing people. No, he's not that. Your boyfriend is a whip. Has David persisted in his werewolf fantasies? I tried <laughs> to investigate the attack. They've misplaced the file. David's lacerations were cleaned and yet supposedly... No other doctor examined it. Yeah, who did do that? They were lying. The whole community <laughs> is hiding the truth. Yes. Surely you don't mean... If he survived an attack, wouldn't he himself become a werewolf? Don't mean running about on all fours and howling. No, My literally, arms. yes. Or perhaps other people. I think we should call the police. At least he's thinking like this, but it's the real way, though. It's the actual way, like a werewolf. A joke. Is the dog gonna sense the werewolf coming? Yeah. I hope the dog doesn't die. I hope the people don't die too. Who's there? Mary Mother of They keep showing that face, that close up of that bloody face. <sighs> this is so tense. How many people is he gonna kill? Um uh, there's just a werewolf in the subway. There's someone there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is not in the least bit amusing. I shall report this. <sighs> I, uh, this is so tense, I feel like he's gonna pop out at any second. Yeah, I'd be getting out of there. Can you see him? You can see him. It's down four. There's nobody in this train station. Leave it. Oh my god. Back to normal. Okay. You probably feel like you have a pretty bad hangover or something. Just nude in the animal den. Oh, uh, nice wolves. I'll be right back. Okay. Take any calls. Uh. No, Doctor Her. She hasn't come back. But I feel so uh, helpless, sitting around here doing nothing. Is he gonna go back to the flat? Just running around naked. Yikes. Oh my. Excuse me. Broke into a cage and slept with the wolves. It's kind of cute. Hey kid, come over here. I feel like a naked man in a bush probably shouldn't be like, Hey kid. 
I'm just gonna say don't go towards a naked man in a bush. I don't know who you are. Balloon thief. Why would a thief want to give me two pounds? <laughs> Thank you. Ugh. A naked American man stole my balloon. Found half eaten, so he does eat them. Okay. <laughs> Fancy jacket. What weather we've been having lately. No pants, no shoes. Good morning. What is he gonna tell oh, her? Please. Where on earth have you been? You won't believe this. <laughs> is he gonna tell mind. her? I started to read and then I woke up naked at the zoo. We didn't know where you were. Where did you get that coat? Why is she so smitten with this uh, guy who is so insane? He's here. He doesn't remember. He woke up at the uh, zoo. Well, he's not crazy. I mean... Have you read the papers today? He sounds David a little crazy. Him. He's not really uh, enthusiastic. I notify the police. You bring him straight to the hospital. You understand? We'll come right over. I expect you shortly. We should be able to get a taxi here. Is she just humoring him because she cares about him and she's trying to help? Or is she like falling in love with this guy? I don't know why I feel so good. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Good morning. <laughs> St. Martin's Hospital. Right. The murders. Last night, six of them. Six. All mutilated. Real Six murders. Jack was right. There's gonna be a full moon tonight. I'm going to the cop. Let's go to Dr. Hurt. Yeah, I'm a f***ing werewolf. I killed those people last night. <laughs> He's playing a silly joke. You be quiet. <laughs> All right, you two move along. Right? Don't arrest me, you asshole. Winston Churchill is my If you don't uh -oh. stop, I should arrest you. That's what I want. Don't lose control. I can't control. Jack was really. David. I love you. What? But I think I did some terrible things. You gotta stay away from me, Alex. David, I can help. You gotta stay away from me. I love you, Alex. No, she does need to stay away from him. Look out! Well, actually, that would have solved all the problems, I suppose. Is is the end of this just that he has to die? He tried to get himself arrested. You cannot accept a connection between David Kessler and last night's murders. We'll find him, not to worry. Yeah, you're gonna find him, and he's going to kill you. Come on, Hirsch. You gotta help him. Is mom or dad at home? Tell mom and dad that I love them, okay? Is he Do gonna we, kill himself? Will you please? Saying and goodbye. I love Max and I, and I love you. Will you be a good girl then? Okay, so he's saying his goodbyes. <gasps> yep, he's gonna do it right there on the phone with Jesus. I really hate knives and slashing. Uh. No? Oh, it's what's his face? Oh, he looks bad. Hi, Jack. Hi, David. Ew. Good movie. Okay. I say I told you so. I did tell you so, you schmuck. You look awful. Thank you. I don't even know if it was me that killed those people. Oh, it was you. Even if I'm not the wolf man, I'm crazy enough to do something like that. Porno theater talking to a corpse. You're losing your mind, son. I'm actually glad to see you, Jack. I want you to meet some people. This Who? is Gerald Brinsley. Gerald's the man you murdered. Yeah. Most uh. I am a victim of your lunar activity. You've left my wife a widow, and I am to walk the earth in limbo till the oh, wolf's man. bloodline is severed. He has you to die. You must die, mm -hmm. David Kessler. This is Harry Berman. Hello. Hello. And Joseph. Yeah. Can't say we're pleased to meet you. What shall I do? Suicide. Harry and I and everyone you murder are not dead. The undead. The this undead. must be stopped. How shall I do it? If you did it wrong, it could be painful. Let him joke. The man's a friend of mine. That skeleton is so gross. The gun! Don't I need a silver bullet or something? Be serious. Put the gun to your forehead and pull the trigger. Put it in your mouth. They're Thank so you. cheery. They're all so thoughtful. A knife. A car crash. A knife. You can throw yourself in front of a tube. It's nighttime now. We're gonna see that insane transformation again. There's the moon. <sighs> Chills. Stop. Some transformer right there in the theater. Go away. Run. Run. Yeah. yeah, I would be running. Hello. We're gonna see some carnage now. No, nobody of that name. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a bunch of Jesus bodies? Oh. <laughs> yeah, lock him in. I would be running away from that noise, not towards it. Oh. He bit his head off. Oh! 
bad. David, I think you're nice, but you should kill yourself, I think. Oh, look at me. Can't they shoot him? Yeah, get your bullets. Let's shoot him. She knows the truth at last. He's gonna eat you, hon. I don't think you can reason with this dog, Alex. He's not a dog. Actually, sorry. No, just a werewolf. Is it you? You won't have any memory. I don't think it's really him right now. They're going to kill you. Is he gonna listen to him? Please let me help you. I don't know. I love you, David. Uh... Um. Oh wow, he turned back into a man. Yikes. Whoa, that's the end. That ends pretty abruptly. And he's dead. The end. Okay guys, well that was an American Werewolf in London. And it was so different than the kind of things that I usually watch, so that was cool. The ending was kind of abrupt, I think. It was a little strange to me. They just kind of, he's dead and then roll the credits. So, I mean, I guess there's nothing left to say. The story's over, but that was a little odd to me. Besides that, I thought it was great. I really like the dead guy, the dead friend coming back. I'm gonna give the MVP to the makeup department of this because that dead guy's face was absolutely Absolutely horrifying. I couldn't stop looking at it, but I also was like repulsed by it. It was really good. Even by today's standards, that makeup is gross. I don't know who this makeup artist is or a team of makeup artists, I assume. MVP 100% goes to the makeup department on this movie. Low-key MVP, I'm gonna give to Jack because he was a real bro coming back to help his friend and try and warn him. Real bro. Although I guess, you know, he was stuck in limbo. Maybe he didn't have anything else to do and he just kind of wanted to be free. So yeah, I guess maybe he had ulterior motives but i just like to think that he came back because he wanted to warn his bro and help him get out of this werewolf situation the only way that he could so i'm gonna give the low-key mvp to jack and the worst award i'm gonna give to scotland yard because i just don't think they did a good job solving this crime at all so scotland yard you are the worst this was out of my wheelhouse but one of those ones that you know i know it's a classic i know it's beloved i'm sure lots of other movies since have drawn on it for inspiration so i'm really glad i saw it thank you guys so much for watching along with me today i really appreciate it i had a great time i had a scary time i hope you had a great time and i'll see you next time bye guys